always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls, I think she's got the wrong idea about you and me. Huh? Uh, 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 well, there's something you need to understand. What is it? Uh, um, it's kind of like a clean custom, sort of. I'm not liking this custom, right? It seems Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and well, because of the murder case last year, Pearl's mother is... Oh, yeah. I remember! We don't gotta recap every fucking thing when I just played it! Oh, shit. Oh shit, I think the, 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 the thing you refreshed or something. Maybe not. It says... That's weird. I don't fucking know. I don't know. <clears throat> so you see, I'm the only family Pearl has right now. But it's the same for me too, Maya. My mother's gone too. Let's, let's hear about Maya's mother. We never heard about her. I'm just mad it just refreshed out of nowhere. At like 12 or whatever. So, your mother's still missing? Yeah, and no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Misty Faye. The current master of curing channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a Certain police case, one with Edgeward. But you sure she's but you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit being thing. And if your mother doesn't and your mother comes back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Miss Sigma, the master of the Curon technique sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the fame ma main family who's a spirit medium. Alright, let's hear this custom. There's a, there are hardly any men in the Kiron village. Now you mentioned it, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. I'm pretty sure I was told you, I, I, I'm pretty sure I to, told you about a long time ago. About how spiritual power runs strongly in the Fey family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training as a spirit woman. Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the, the whole culture of the Kiran kind of revolves around this woman. Well, that's... Oh, that's what I said. Well, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh? Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father? He's gone. He left the village when he was... Very, very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Well, Nick, why don't you we go out and start investigating? We're not gonna learn anything. Okay, fine, that's fine, I guess. We didn't really learn anything anyways, but it's okay. Uh, how much is left for this child? It's like so much, so much, so much. You gotta present people, talk to people. Oh my god. Um, Mr. N uh, Mr. Nick. Yeah? Yeah. I acted like a baby. Pearl, you're like 12. I doubted you, even though Mr. Maya trusted you completely. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick. Yes? I, from the bottom of my heart, apologize from what I said. Oh, it's okay. I'm the one who should have gone. Well, I'm going now for just a little bit. Huh? Where are you going? I may be small, but I have a lot of spiritual channeling power. So I'm going to show you I can be useful to by finding some evidence. Hey! Wait a second. Actually, sure runs fast. Nick, let's back off and give her some room. Why? So she can get kidnapped like you? She's a... Can, we, can I remind you how old this child is? Nine. You're 19? She's 9. You were 18 in the last game, I'm pretty sure. 
And Mia, you were like... You're like two years either older than me or younger than me, I forget. Well, let's move, I guess. Exhibition hall. <clears throat> I can't wait to move to a game where I don't have to talk. Mamaya! Oh, it's Miss Andrews! I'm so sorry, it's my fault. My precious, your precious urn, your precious urn! Please calm down, what's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends up in failure. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, 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 it's okay. No. I know I don't look at, but I'm good with my hands. I can make you another urn. Hold on, just wait, okay? Breathe calm and talk to us. For forgive me, forgive me. I love you, Adrian. You might be my next wife. If I wasn't sure that you were a lesbian. Um, um, okay, um, so what did you, when did you get a call from this, um, let's say exactly 10 days ago, I was going to show it to the police, but the detective stopped me. Um, so you asked, did they add me to help with the security? Yes, in fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much about, much more about Master than the police, so you hired him for security even before call, the calling card, correct? Well, yes, I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. So that's why they are security cameras even in the basement warehouse. Yes, Lordy Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was their way of saying bring it on to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night and even left with... Night. They keep saying last night, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen until tonight. Um... Can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was my fault. I never should have called that pony little collection a treasure exhibit. Anyways, why did you say that? That the urn w that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but it's actually value. It's actually value after appraisal was well practically zero. Zero. I polished it until it was just about glowing I thought maybe I could make it look even more valuable but the urn contains the scent of Mr. Omi anyway I left all the security arrangements to de Detective Atme but five days ago I began receiving all sorts of exhibit items from Karan lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there so maybe one of them was actually Master Master in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through the door here, so that's not possible. No, Angie, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Okay, well. Well, moving to the detective agency. Of Mr. At fucking May. Get my breathers in. Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Um, well, actually, kind of. Shh, silence! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is this? Zari! He wants his own little catchphrase like jinkies or some shit. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a... I think we already been through this. Ha! Huh, so my estimation was correct, Zari. How truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? I was gonna talk. We gonna talk? We gonna talk. Not a crime. Okay. You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all night last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I, I heard you've been after Master Mass since his first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. And you're in his very first heist, that vile thief. 
Pilfred the Famished Jewel, the Tear of Eminon. I first encountered him in the museum circuit hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired for the treasure exhibit. I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lord e. Taylor and sent the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. So how did Master Mask manage to steal the urn? That's a million dollar question. What is Master Mask modus operandi? So Emma. I never, I never knew that's what M.O. stood for. I, I learn something new every day. Um, Mr. Atme, did you? No, please don't call him Mr. Just call him Atme. He doesn't deserve no sir titles. Like, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. I am interested in one, only one thing, my dear, and that is the mask that mask so I can suck him off with my little nose. My big nose, I'm sorry. Sacred urn! <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. Actually, it, to, um, to be real, if it's something that he stole, but wasn't that the mask that mask stole that item? I am a hunter, sir. That arm was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to the pigeons? I don't think I like that guy's attitude, Nick. Oh, now you don't like him. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. M.O. Tell me about the M.O. so I can get out your face. Um, there's something that kind of bothers me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you would like. After all, we are all but seekers wanderers alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Master Best Man is to the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night of the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Master Mask. I forgot about these. I literally forgot about these. Oh, what the? It's a Cyclock. Cyclock? Bruh. No, we present this Magtama. What the other thing? Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this today. We're doing this. It's getting cold. I'm about to turn off my fan after I change the game. Can I have it on three blasts? Detective Atme, you were standing at the guard's line. There's no way you didn't see the crime. Commit. Well, now, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much I is true. But I can tell you for a certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy is lying through his seat. I know. I'll show him proof. That camera data! There was a security camera set up at the scene of the, uh, scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through the door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? But my monocle didn't catch anyone in a flash. In a flash. I must. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective Atme, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he is hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. He didn't do his job. And I've got that piece of evidence to prove that. In that case, the reason you didn't... Because... Unconscious? 
I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me evidence. Oh, he got whacked by the blade. Detective Atme, you were knocked unconscious by a thief, weren't you? Ha ha ha, Charlie, you must be joking. You think I, Luke Atme, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Then that's... Before the, uh, before the thief, this sword was in the hands of statue of Ami, Ami Fei. Furthermore, at the time, it was not bent. Uh-uh. There's only one explanation. It fell from the heavens. You're, you were struggling the head and not unconscious by that sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. I'm taking your job. I'm the ace detective now, bitch. I'm an ace de a detective. I'm an ace attorney. I'm an ace victim. All the aces. I might as well just be a fucking joker. Give me the whole deck of cards. Okay, we, we talked about that. Okay. We're oh, my, oh my god, we gotta talk to Larry, apparently. And Larry's? I'm very worried. <coughs> I'm very worried. Only because I looked up for it and I saw Larry was at the hideout. Okay. I can't deny. I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobbered? One of the only way of saying it. But I suppose you can put it that way. The crowd struck, the crowd struck at the premise moment that I turned to look at the cam computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the cat must have warmed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with the gruesome item here. Oh, I know what happened. He was hit by the secret security guard. The the, the one that's playing Matt Damask. And then the real Damask came in was like I'm proud of you my guy I'm proud of you keep looking up to your heroes I'm gone and left with the items so he was basically he was basically accomplished by accident ouch Mr. Abme should have his poor head examined yeah yeah you can say that again how could he have underestimated that thief so badly it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway huh what that at oh, that Atme is the greatest ace detective in the world? Bitch, bye. No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Master Mask. Yes, one minute, said Lion. The thief was unquestionably Master Mask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera just for such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once, like we said. Behold, this is the photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security cameras. That's him. Oh, that was, uh, mask to mask. So, you know, Pearl is gonna catch this thief. The thief, uh, the thief can be none other than the arch criminal master mask. After all, he was a very good reason for committing such a biased crime. What are you talking about? So, what, what do you mean, very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There's such... There, there should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You need to go and investigate. But how would you know about that? Hmm, <laughs> have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the... The most brilliant mind ever, since well ever, look at me. I guess I better go. Anyway, bye. Bye. We're leaving. We're going to the, we're going to the hideout, and then we're going to see Larry Butts, and we're going to quickly end this off soon. Not the not the stream, but like you know, we we don't we don't examine. Oh, that grand envelope. Hard to forget. We just met him five minutes ago. Exactly what he said. He said what he said. He said what he said. Remember? Remember, we don't got a flashback. We was just there. A green envelope, huh? Looks like this, right? Okay, let's have a look. 
If you don't mind, I want your identity, your charity revealed to the world. Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring 50,000. His true identity being that he's a pussy? 50,000? This is a, a blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right? Ding dong. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't be a second, I promise. I love her. I love her. And, and I promise, I promise, I promise. Larry better stay away from her. Roy doesn't deserve to get his heart broken like that. When I am, when I see a dam, and when I see a damsel in distress, I can't help myself. Please come in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Y you're. Who let this man be a cop? Nick, it's you and Maya too. What a fluke. Ah, uh, Larry! No time, no see. What? You two know each other? N Nicky boy? Nick, do you, this girl, have you know something going on? Some, something, if you mean I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Way to go, dude. I knew it, just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Larry Butts, ever since grade school he's been, yeah we know, we know about Larry, we don't, we don't need a recap about Larry, we know about Larry, he's the butt of every joke, literally. Hey come on, that's not a, that's not a joke by me, the game made this joke, so don't, don't, don't chastise me for it. Hey come on now, you're embarrassing me. And in front of a pretty late wait, before, mm, before, 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 before. Because <laughs> before. I know myself. And in front of a pretty lady, uh, of this pretty lady thing, a little thing right here. So you two are childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check out my bike. Nice girl, that Desi. So how have you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. Alright, talk to me, Larry. So, what have you been up to uh, this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. And what's with the clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey, man, that's uncalled for. This is my uniform for my part-time job. Uh. Security. Believe it or not, it's been since the two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you, woman, I don't trust him anymore. You got dumped again? Well, you know, Benifer, I followed her all the way to the band two years ago. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my life changed. Benifer, Caddy Tom? I've never heard of either of them. Anyways, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually, anyway, it sounds like you had quite an adventure. This man travels, okay? Women, they're so, they're so, uh. But you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. Anyways, so what are you doing here? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked, oh. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, I had it. I had a driver's license. It had a driver's license, in it, so I figured I'd return it myself. Hang on, let me see that a minute. I knew it. Yeah, this person's in here. Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Um, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. It's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Mr. Light. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you so you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working private security company as a security guard. Chicks love a guy in a uniform, you know. 
a security guard, huh? So that's what the uniform is all about. Mm, 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 mm. So what time was it when you found those last night? Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook. One in the morning on the first floor of the company building. What was it? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. So she was taking a run from police at one. Anyway, there's nothing weird about it. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got the serial number on it right here. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Well, why are you asking me with a scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Alright, we got this bitch. We, we leaving. And I don't want Larry here, to be honest. No, no, present the key card. Never mind. <laughs> We're not leaving. Uh, present the key card. Alright, Larry, tell me about this key card. Okay. So, you're sure about this key card? Yep. That's the key card we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this is one for the CEO's office. You need it to get into the room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you exactly who enters the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but the data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost my job, I'd never had a chance with Desi. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Alright, and then present this. Hey, Larry, what about this? What? I got something to say? Then say it. If you got something to say, say it already. You think you that, mama? Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about Lexus. And that's the truth. Huh? What? I can't even believe you'd do this to me. I thought you were my friend. $50,000? I don't have that kind of money. No, no. You don't understand. The blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Woo! Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. Wait, I'm the idiot? Man, I was totally confused because it says KB Security around the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's where I got the part-time job at KB Security. What? I mean, I thought it would be obvious because it's KB card. KB Security card. That's... Sounds like I should really find out more about this KB. Alright, um... We're moving. We're getting out of this place. And to my even... I don't even know who I like this like worse. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I, I went to the wrong one yet. I went to the wrong one. I gotta go back to the hideout. I'm sorry, Larry. Talk to me about the KB Security, please. KB Security? That company in the blackmail... In the blackmail letter, you know? Oh, my bad. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter, you know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm the one, I'm the on the job right now. Hmm, so what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away? Yes, yes, sorry. Anyways, how far is this company? Let me see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess? Well, if you fly down the road anyway. Well, this apartment, they didn't need to add that part, fly down the road. They didn't need to add that part. Shit, my titty wasn't showing. Hmm, well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lord Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from KV Security and back. If Ron Delight was in KV Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! Then you couldn't have stolen the sacred urn! Hey, Nick! Your phone! Yeah. Her hello! Is this white residence? Ah, Pearls, where are you? I, I thought I'd go to Lord Ta Lordly Taylor to find, to try and find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? 
Give me that phone, Nick! Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and found myself in front of a person's office. That person who? Oh, uh, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zorari he, when he's excited. Look at me, Anthony. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Oh, Alright, I'm a little scared. Wait a second, Nick. What? what? That phone call just now. Sounds... I'm taking you to jail. Another one of your, ahem, special friends. Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? I hope Larry doesn't fuck her over. Fuck him over. I hope. I hope she's not the one. I hope. I hope it's, she's not the one. I hope she's not the one. I hope. I hope it's him. I hope it's this guy. I hope it's this guy right here. Because if it's Miss Delight, I'm going to be so upset for Ron. It's too much heartbreak in this fucking game, okay? I'll be so upset for Ron because she was actually a good one. But if I, I know not to trust shoddies in red, but I don't think it's her. I don't want to believe it's her. Oh, Mr. Nick. Mystic Maya. Pearly! My lips are getting chapped because the wind is blowing my fucking face. I never thought I'd see you two again. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. So, is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. So, Nick, say Nick, doesn't it look like something changed since we last? Yeah, if you get the fuck out of my way. Well, that's money, now that you mentioned I do that, do it. Unless, they're in cahoots. You okay, mama? You okay, papa? Okay. <clears throat> he has a lot of special things that look like this bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. That's quite far. I wonder what could be in there. It's money, ain't it? Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open private property. Don't be such a fuddy duddy. I mean, don't be such a fuddy duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. Well, what's inside? Hey, hang on, say it. I'm taking it out. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Ah, well, hello. Well, hello there. Nick! What are you doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the laws of fla uh, so fla flagrantly. I'm, I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. Nick! I can't believe a gentleman, never, a gentleman never uses a woman as an excuse for his own poor behavior. Well, news flash on you, man. I'm not a gentleman. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lying getting about here? Well, what do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial. Sorry. Shall we say the figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? Well, Nick. Sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Um, let's talk about tomorrow's trial, shall we? Um, what's gonna to happen to tomorrow's trial? So dramatic. Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Mr. Lawyer? Sorry, Lawyer. It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Yeah, he's the enemy. He gotta be the enemy. He gotta be. Come on. Come on. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I look at me will stand to the uh, will take the stand, and then Zari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of a lot of you. <clears throat> yes, all of you. I will unmask you as a thief, conspirators, co-conspirators, conspirators. <laughs> You're quite kick on the defense. I see, however, it is not that. The eye that is your greatest enemy. There's far more dangers that. No, it has to be that bitch. Unless it's actually the guy with the mask that's actually gonna be my attorney. What are you talking about? Sailor, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. Go Godot. 
you know, taking step down the path of foolishness. I mean, if we took down uh, Edgeworth's horn dog, uh, 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 not apprentice, but you know, overseer, his sir, not his father, but you know, the guy who killed his father, who who's been like the biggest like pro- prosecutor ever, and then also took down Edgeworth, and also uh, the the daughter of Edgeworth, basically, basically Edgeworth's private sister. Not his girlfriend. I'm not accepting that. Try to def- like. There's nobody that can. I, I've dealt with so much. There's nobody. There's nobody. Nobody. Okay. Nobody that can come against me. To try to defend a career criminal who there's nothing less than the death penalty. I don't know what he's playing solitaire on Steam. Interesting. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is Mr. Damask. Hey, <laughs> my dear lady. Times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand. They use that phrase a lot in this game as well. You will not. You will understand this when you are more mature. You don't know what this girl has seen. Uh, um, who is this Godot person? I'm not surprised that a spiritual medium has not heard of his name. Godot, the pr- prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Gilda, a legend or a myth, men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chances to simply meet him. Prosecutor Godot? But the best prosecutor in the, isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth. Well, it was Mr. Edgy's uh, 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 before that. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this, but Ace Prosecutor Myler is currently traveling abroad. Huh? So that means he's still not the better one. <laughs> he's, still, he's just he just admitted. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Gildad as the best in this country. I don't believe that. I gotta hear that from Edgeworth's word, uh, from Edgeworth's mouth. Cause first of all, it takes a lot for Edgeworth to actually give somebody a compliment. So I, I already know you're bullshitting. I know my husband. And you agree with that? <clears throat> Most certainly. In fact, you could call him No Luke at May of the prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The president has fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick. <laughs> I said Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. Is this gold out really that strong? Mm, uh, I seem to remember hearing about that someone like that. I don't. Not surprising. Someone, some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. It looks like we're done investigating for the day. Hee 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 Say lawyer. The stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. Sorry, I just have to just do that. <clears throat> a new prosecutor, a ace attorney, and a thief. He better not be chopping the board with that shawty. Because she left too. She left too. But if he's with her, chopping abroad, he, he knows he's my man, right? He knows he my, he's, he's Phoenix's man. So he better not be cheating on Phoenix with that, with that show that be whipping people. Because uh, Edgeworth don't go like that. He don't be accepting no whips. I want to see, I want to see how, he, if, if she whips him, I want to see his reaction. I want to see Edgeworth's reaction. I want to see him break her whip, throw her whip, the whip across the room. I, I don't know. Don't, I want to see him. Uh, I don't want to see him hit her with it because it's going to end up being kinky, as people say. And it's going to be weird. And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Not with my husband. This will get. Um, this will go on tomorrow's show, though. That's not what I said, but I said it. <clears throat> to be continued. Continued. Thank goodness. My voice is crumbling. Two chapters took four hours. Four hours, my guy. We're going to save right here. We're gonna, I don't know if I already saved or whatever, but we're going to save again. And no, we're not coming back. We're gonna go to my face. I gotta fix my chat screen because apparently, like, it, it just doesn't show up no more. I look, I look okay. I look nice. All right. So that was that game. That was nice, a refreshing game, I suppose. It was, it was, it was all right. Um, uh, mainly because I don't want to do any thinking right now. We're going straight. And don't, I don't want to do any, oh, my bad, I just closed. Uh, I don't want to do any thinking, and definitely not no talking. I 
I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So we're gonna change the game up a bit. We're gonna change the game up. We played for two hours, three, uh, four hours, four hours. Say hi, Squidward. Hello, Squidward. I just realized you're not nearly. I must have been turning you so hard. Uh, yeah, you're gonna go this way <clears throat> to see my face. You can barely see my Ouija's, but it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah. That was, that was a welcome back. I feel a little bit 